97% of water on the planet is seawater. It's not that the resource isn't abundant, it's that we can't create usable water from that. Um, and so how do you do that? And I think that's really what we'll be looking at as we think about this prize. Desalination technologies exist. We've been doing desalination you know, in different parts of the world for many years now, but we've been kind of doing it in many of the same ways. And so I think that it's an example of a place where the thinking is sort of stuck and there's a lot of potential to sort of reimagine it. It's not just about, well, let's get our energy efficiency a little bit better or let's find a better membrane or other technology that could work a little bit better, but maybe let's reimagine the whole scenario and you know, how it's deployed, um, how people, you know, want to use water and have access to water. I think there's a lot of opportunity there around this topic. Part of the title of this project is energy neutral desalination. And my first question was, what does that mean, energy neutral? One of the hits against desalination is that it's very energy intensive. It takes a lot of energy to um, you know, make salt water into water that is not salty <laughs> to different degrees. And so what if the energy that was used was inexpensive and sustainable and accessible? Maybe it wouldn't matter as much how much energy you use. That's really what um, we'll be looking at as we think about this prize. I've worked with XPRIZE um, in the past and it was the opportunity to be um, part of something on kind of at the ground level when it's just starting. Um, and to be part of, um, you know, not just participating in, in it, but hopefully also shaping it and making it the best that it can be. I'm really excited um, about this new vision for Visioneers and, and the potential that it holds to take desalination to the next level.